Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use COPC32 on Excel 2010 to create a scatter application to read and write data from and to OPC server. This is the example. When connecting to the OPC server, you can display the data from OPC server as the trend or chart. You can insert some graphic and process value. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, create the simple uh, application to monitoring or controlling the OPC text in the, the OPC server. First, open the Excel 2010. You need the developer tab. If you cannot see the developer tab, you can select File and Option. Okay, now go to the Customize Ribbon and select Developer. And about this Developer tab, click OK. Now you can see the Developer tab. First of all, you need to uh, install the COPC32 in this system. And select Insert, More Control. You could see the COPC32 this is the ActiveX control. You need to install this ActiveX control first. After click OK, the cursor of the mouse uh, will change to plus. Uh, you could drag and put the COPC control into the cheat. You can put another control. Each control can connect into the OPC tag, maximum for 60 tags. Then if you connect into the OPC tags, more than 60 tags, you need to put another control. OK. Then click on the COPC control. You could enter to the that chain event of COPC1. This control name is COPC1. And another control is COPC2. Double click on it. We'll enter to the that change event of COPC1 and COPC2. That change event will invoke when the data of the OPC tag in the COPC1 has changed. And that change of COPC2 will invoke when the data of OPC tag uh, of the COPC2 has changed. Right click on the COPC1 and choose COPC32 object and then select property. This will bring the COPC property and you could select the server name. If you connect into the local OPC server, you don't need to enter anything in node name text box. But if you would like to connect into the remote OPC server in another PC, you need to specify the IP address of the PC. OK, now I'll be connecting to the local OVC server. Then I don't need the IP address. I can click the button to show to showing the OVC server in this system. Then select the OVC server that you would like to connect to. And click OK. Specify the update rate in millisecond. In this case, uh, the update rate is one second or 100 millisecond. Sorry, 1,000 millisecond. OK. Step two, choose the OPC tag that you would like to connect in. In the OPC server, you have select. Uh, it will bring the OPC tag to show you. And you could select the OPC tags that you would like to connect into. I connect into the OPC tag, tag one and tag two. You need the OPC server connecting to PLC or controller. In this example, I use the uh, OPC server from Iconics. And 
it has the tag 1 and tag 2 in the OVC server on channel 1 on device 1 okay then click OK another control I will be connecting to the OVC server the same OVC server but I choose the different OVC tag I choose the uh, OVC tag from system from system branch and select time second this OVC tag will change every second if you would like to use the uh, OVC tag that change every minute you can use time minute okay and click OK I will use this uh, OVC tag as the timer because this uh, text will change every second. Okay, update rate is one second, and click OK. Now double click on the COVC control. This event will invoke when COVC one, uh, when COVC one's text value has changed, and this event will invoke when the data of COVC two has changed. Okay, now uh, I use the COVC2 tags as the timer, then I will use the uh, that chain event from COVC2 to show something on the Excel sheet. Sheet one dot uh, range A2 equal to COVC1 dot Get VL. Get VL event, sorry, get VL method is the method to get value from the OPC tag. You need to specify the index number of the OPC tag. The first one is zero. Okay? This is the index number of the first OPC tag in COPC1. That means tag one. Now copy the code and paste to it, the new line and for, uh, change A2 to B2 0 to the second one. Okay. You may need to specify on error. Resume next. Because it may be interrupt between the cell uh, event and COVC event. To protect this issue, you can use an error resume next. Okay. If you would like Excel to connect into the OPC server automatically, you can uh, you can use the event of workbook by double click on this workbook and choose workbook from the drop-down list. The event open will, uh, will invoke when the workbook is opened. Then you can connect in the COPC1 and COPC2 to the OPC server. Uh, you need to specify cheat1 and COPC1. and connect. This will bring the OPC1 to connecting to the OPC server. And this will force the OPC2, the COPC2 to, to connecting to the OPC server as well. Okay. If you close the workbook, you need to disconnect uh, COPC1 and COPC2 from the OPC server. Then we will use before close event and copy the code. Paste into this event and change connect to disconnect. Okay. Now we're gonna save it choose file and save as. You need to save as Excel macro enable workbook. 
test your PC. Okay. Okay. Now close the workbook and reopen it. Excel will connect into the OPC server automatically and bring the value of the OPC tag into the sheet. And if you close the workbook, it will connect. Uh, it will disconnect from the OPC server. Okay. Now I reopen the workbook and go to developer tab. Go to design mode. Okay. Now. I will show you how to control the OPC tag from the COPC. We need some button. Bring some button and face and create the button into the sheet. Okay. I will use this cell as input input box. Okay. H2 as input box. If I click on the button it will send a value in the H2 to the OPC tag. Okay. Now we're gonna use uh, this button. Okay. At even click on command button one, we we'll force the OPC to write some value. COPC one dot. OPC right. You need to specify the index number of the OPC tag that you would like to control. The second one is 1. And you need to specify the value that you would like to write in to the OPC tags. Okay. Now I will use H2 value. Then I need to specify cheat 1 and range and H2 and value 2 okay it will write the value of H2 into the OPC tag that has index number 1 okay get back and see this is the OPC tag that has index number 1 the first index number is 0 the second is 1 and so on. Okay. Now get to design mode and writing some value and enter. And then click on the button. Okay, now the value has changed. For sure, go to the OPC server and open quick client. As you can see on the device one and tag two, it is two to two. Go back to Excel and write some new value. Enter and then write. Okay. It changed corresponding to the value we have entered. Okay. This is the simple application to read and write OPC text uh, from OPC server. Thank you for watching.